What's going on, everybody? I today I'm doing my top ten worst movies of 2022. So let's get started. At number ten, we've got <gasps> Jurassic World Dominion. Now. I was going in thinking that this was going to be awesome, the end game the, for the Jurassic World universe. And the director saying that the dinosaur was, quote, the Joker, the dinosaur, a Joker dinosaur. Sorry about that. A Joker dinosaur. It is nothing like that. It's not funny he there's no does because you know chris pratt he has humor i he try to make jokes just doesn't add up the storyline's so flocky the acting is usual and that opening that open, ugh, i don't even want to talk about that opening number nine Minions, The Rise of Gru. Now this, I know I shouldn't be taking this too seriously because, I mean, it is a children's film. But this was seriously really annoying. Like, because I got to go to an early screening of it. I got to go to a press screening. Oh my God, I, I wanted to just leave. And I couldn't just leave for a press screening. Because it's a movie, you gotta get through a whole movie. Oh, but it's, oh. Even saying the word brings oh, vomit into my eyes. Number eight, Thor Love and Thunder. Now some people did like this film because it was comedic. But they didn't take one thing serious. Not one thing. It immediately turned into a joke or something like that. It's so ridiculous. Like, what was Taika Waititi's game there? Because if he was trying to create a storyline where everyone loves it, you can't just have cheesy dialogue and laugh at everything in the film honestly this film just didn't have what i hoped for number seven uncharted now this is one of the early 2022 movies but i'm i'm walking out of the theater going what the hell was that that was not an uncharted film I mean, you got Mark Wahlberg always acting himself, and you got Tom Holland always acting as himself. It's like you're an actor, not a one man solo guy like Ryan Reynolds. See, there's some actors that could pull it off, but. <laughs> like Channing Tatum. Number six. Speaking of Channing Tatum. Dog. This is supposed to be a fun dog movie. He just calls the dog the whole time. Dog. Dog. What? I'm supposed to believe that that thing is called dog. I mean, there are a couple funny scenes in here, but the film just, but the rest just took me completely out of the film. Number five, Dog Stranger and the Multiverse of Madness. Oh yeah, I get it, I hate fun, I'm such a grandpa. But we gotta talk about the real crappy thing about this movie, the CGI. Even I can do better CGI than that. That is ridiculous, with a capital D. And Wanda's whole plot was just like, <sighs> it 
it was not good. Number four. Now, this is definitely gonna create controversy on my channel. <sighs> Bullet Train. Wasn't a fan of it. I heard that there was a book. I didn't care to read it though, because I'm not the biggest reader. I don't really like books. And it was pretty silly film. I mean, it's Brad Pitt being nowadays Brad Pitt. He's not what he used to be. Ugh. So disgraceful. A load of hog water, as I said. Number three, Super Pets. If someone tells me something about Super Pets, I am immediately going to leave the room. Most annoying movie I have seen in my entire life. So annoying. I hated this film. What had wanted to do nothing with this film. And I collect some tickets. I keep all my tickets. As soon as I walked out of that theater, I tore mine up. That film was awful. And yes, awful than usual. It, it's just, it's, it's so hard to talk about without, you know, going into spoilers. Number two. Now, forgive me for this one. Matilda the Musical. Horrible. Horrible, 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 horrible. I mean, it's, it's a musical of, of Matilda. Do I need to say more? And finally at number one for the worst film of 2022, The Northman. That was so crap. Bad, 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 bad. All bad, just bad as hell. Ugh, sucks. But that is just my worst, but that is my list for the top 10 worst movies of 2022 now today i am also posting best because it my best movies of 2022 because it is a little bit late so i better get on that video soon but stay tuned in a couple hours